Hello and welcome to this mod first look video. Today we're going to be looking at the Old Sheds pack by Agro Gaddy. What a name, I love that. Uh, this pack includes two open shelters, four shelters of different sizes. There are also three additional shelters to attach to the side of the other buildings. Sounds interesting. Let's jump in and have a look. So for the sake of this one, we've graveled over the fallow field again. As you can see, we have the six and seven thousand for the smaller open shelters we've got seven and a half thousand nine thousand fifteen thousand eighteen thousand for the larger sheds and then we've got two three and three thousand for the uh, three additional add-ons that can go on the sheds so let's get these placed down we'll go with the big one first looks like we've got go looks like we've got a door at the front and a door on the right hand side i think it's only on the right yeah so we'll get that place down and we'll try and get one of, one or two of those additional uh, parts attached to it as well. So we'll give it a bit of space on the left. So we'll get that one down. These ones don't come with any uh, additional colours. But they look great as they are. So we've got a door on the front, a door on the right hand side and a small shelter on the back as well. So I think we'll, we'll pop this one down as so. Fully rotatable, 360 degrees. That's what we like in our sheds. We don't like when we get sheds and we can only place them in one direction. So next we've got nine grand on this one. So that's got the... This one's got double sliding doors on one side. That's the side that's facing us. The other side's a, a shut off. So we'll just pop that at the back. We're literally building ourselves a farm right here. Then we'll pop the, uh, the traditional red shed. Very much like this. Pop that down here. Then we'll grab the small shelters. We'll have a little look at these up here. Open shelter. Pop them next to each other. So then for our sort of extensions, I guess they are. We'll grab that. And if we press B, we can toggle on free mode. So we can get right next to another building. Now I'm not very good at this sort of thing. But we'll do it for the video. So if I try and get in somehow. Okay, so then as we bite into the shed, we'll probably get a little bit turned up on the inside. But I think that's pretty square. I think. So there we have it. So I think we might be able to get three of these along here by the look of So we could have a really long like extension along the side of the shed i try and get that to bite without going too far in obviously if you do this you take your time and get that to fit perfectly snug but i think for the purpose of a let's have a butcher's video that'll do so that's that one we then have a, a wider one here which i guess and we could stick on Stick that on the side here. Will that fit? That does fit, I think. Give it a little twist. Again, these go 360 degrees. I don't know why I'm getting some screen drift. <laughs> it's a little bit weird. Giants, eh? Farm sim. Right, and we'll try this one. If we get this one to rotate. So I think that one... Oh, it's the opposite side, isn't it? So, maybe we could fit this one over on here. Piecing it together like a puzzle. But you can build yourself a completely custom farm with this, which is absolutely awesome. I love that. I love that. Right, let's get in. let's get close and personal. And again, this is the old shed pack by Agro Gaddy. I, I love that name. Quality name. But these look awesome. I am just going to bring my flashlight out because it's a bit dark and we can't quite see everything with these sheds. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Didn't place that too bad if I say so myself. I like this. I like that you can do this. This is a really nice addition. This looks really nice as well. The corrugated roof. The worn barn. The little uh, stone footings for it to keep it off the ground. Again, the outside of the main shed. Got the stone footings around that as well. Really nice. Really nice textures. Really nice look. I like that it's worn and old. open this up so it's one trigger to open the two doors and i believe it's 
in the middle again to uh, close that up. Really nice. Good animation. Sounds good. And inside, the woodwork is really nice. We've got the beams. The beams are great. Great detail. Again, on the uh, corrugated roof as well. I like that we've got a little bit of light coming between in the gaps as well. You, you get that with an old corrugated roof. Maybe a little bit leaky. Stone footings. Really nice. Nice and spacious, this shed as well. And we also have the, uh, the side door as well, which is a single slide. The fittings on here for the uh, the roller. Trigger on the handle. I like that. I like that. That's really nice. So we'll have a little look at this one next, since we're right next to it. Again, store small machinery in here. You could, you know, a few bales, maybe some feed or your twine or something in there. A few tools, stuff out of the way. Really nice. And this one has the double doors that slide to center. You can't open them both at once, obviously. So you pick a side, left or right. Then this one. Slide it across into the middle. Really nice. I like this. We've got the uh, the round poles. Support and frame in this one. Really nice look as well. Something a bit different. That's my shed coming through. I've placed it. Nice texture. I like we've got a little bit of green, a little bit of moss and going on on the old, uh, old wood panels. Really nice looking shed come over to this one next with the uh, little storage around the back it's almost like it's it's got the extension already on it i like that you could build a really nice custom star farm with this S scrap all that scrap all that and start with these this is really nice i like this Another lovely shed in here. Again, we've got different beam works, different size sheds. We've got different supports. I like that our, our beams are interlocked and they're not just sort of placed inside each other because you'd interlock them like that for support. I like that. That's good. Family of carpenters. I know what I'm talking about. That's a really good. Really good. I like these sheds, man. I do like these. Up your role play and get these sheds down on your farm. That's all I want to say. Really, really good sheds. And we've got a little. Uh... Yeah, let's let's just let's just the animation on that didn't need to be there. It's great that it is. That is really nice. Again, seeing in over the top. Little uh... maybe store your bales in there. I don't know. Store whatever you like in there. It's your farm. I really like that. I really like these sheds. I really like them. And then we've got the small uh, open sheds as well. Again, just sat on um, stone footings. If I could say anything, my only negative would maybe be the texture on the stone footings. But hey, who, who's who's that worried at the minute? This is beautiful. The actual shed texture, the wood, the wearing on it. Really nice. These are awesome. Absolutely awesome. Another one a little bit bigger, this one. Be careful, it's got a lip on the front. Whereas that one doesn't, it's straight to roof. But it's a bit shorter. Again, plenty of room. You keep your small machinery in it. And because they're they are, you know, old sheds, machineries at the time would be would be smaller and what have you. You could fit, fit plenty of st storage for um, you know, your pallets, your bags. Anything you like in there, a few small tractors, a bit of machinery, you probably even squeeze a small harvester in there, some planters, cultivators, that sort of stuff. But this is absolutely banging. I really, really like this. This is a great shed pack. It's the old shed pack. It's by Agrogati. Absolutely brilliant. I'm loving it. I'm sure if I do an American series, I'm going to try and work these in because they are brilliant. I love the old look. Absolutely, absolutely love it. Hopefully you guys do too. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video as well. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. No, I don't always sound like this. I have got a cold, but we're just chugging on through it. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.